Hello everyone, welcome to Design Hub. In Design Hub, we provide quality technical content related to the design industry using practical concepts. So, to upgrade yourself please subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. We are starting the series on GD and T basics. We will learn what is the significance of the symbols in GD and T. We will take one drawing, try to learn what symbols are used, and try to break down the reason behind that symbol. Geometric dimensioning and tolerances consist of a symbolic language used by engineers that are used to define the exact nature of a part due to imperfections in manufacturing and inspection. It is an important aspect of the design to specify the number of part features that may deviate from their theoretically correct geometry. A symbolic language known as GD and T is used on engineering drawings and models to specify the allowable deviation of feature geometry. To be able to precisely communicate the functional requirements for the placement, orientation, size, and form of each feature of the design model. GD and T is made up of dimensions, tolerances, symbols, definitions, rules, and conventions. We will see 14 useful symbols of GD and T in this series. Here are some common symbols of GD and T. In form type tolerance, we have flatness, straightness, cylindricity, and circularity or roundness. The tolerance zone limits a form element's deviation from its ideal geometry. In orientation type tolerance we have perpendicularity, parallelism, and angularity. The orientation of the form in relation to a reference is decided by orientation tolerance. It is a geometric tolerance for features related to datums because a datum is always required to indicate orientation tolerance. In location type tolerance, we have position, concentricity, and symmetry. The feature's location, true position, in relation to a reference is determined by location tolerance. Since a datum is always required to indicate location tolerance, geometric tolerance applies to datum-related features. In a profile type tolerance, we have a surface profile and a line profile. A surface's profile refers to the three-dimensional tolerance zone surrounding it, which is typically an intricate curve or shape. The entire surface, where the radius must fall within the tolerance range. It is called out on a curved surface, such as a fillet on a welded part. Every point along the surface is controlled by the profile within a tolerance range. In the runout control type, we have total runout and circular runout. When the part is rotated 360 degrees around the datum axis, runout is the amount by which a given reference feature or features differ from another datum. It essentially regulates how much a circular feature varies in relation to the rotational axis. Any feature that is rotated about an axis can be called out for runout. It essentially refers to how much wobble there is between two features of one part. Now, let's take one example and understand its dimensions and tolerances given to it. We will understand what the feature control frame is. A feature control frame is required in GD and T to describe the conditions and tolerances of a geometric control on a part's feature. The feature control frame is composed of four parts. Control symbol or GD and T symbol. Type and dimensions of tolerance zones. Tolerance zone modifiers such as size characteristics and datum citations if required by the GD and T symbol. Let's take a look and understand feature control frame. Here, this drawing has many symbols, we will learn what it is used for. Let's see, what feature control frame is. The feature control frame defines the allowable deviation from the exact feature. The feature control frame, also known as FCF, of the profile of a surface tolerance, is connected to the part feature by a leader arrow. After the lead arrow, the diameter of the hole is defined, and how many holes are required. And by providing tolerance, we are giving a range to the machinist to work on. FCF can be broken down into three separate blocks, just like any other FCF in GD and T, which are block with geometric tolerance, block of feature tolerance, and block of datum. We use a feature control frame to give dimension with an allowable tolerance due to possible errors whilst machining. Now, we will learn FCF for flatness control tolerance. Using feature control for flatness with a tolerance of 0.1 and stating that a surface must fit between two parallel planes that are spaced apart by a certain amount which is, plus minus, 0.1 millimeters, we can define flatness. And we have given datum A, 
as a reference. Any two parallel planes, located anywhere, and in any orientation, that will encompass the entire surface of the part are considered to be within the flatness tolerance zone. The flatness control is broken if the part's entire surface cannot be contained between two parallel planes that are only 0.1 apart. If we look at the left-hand view of the drawing, it is defined with a thickness of 15 mm, with a size tolerance of plus minus 0.3 mm. So, the thickness is allowed to vary from 14.7 mm to 15.3 mm. Now, we will look closely at the blocks of the feature control frame for the position control symbol. The feature mentioned here is a hole. We have used the required hole size, and how many holes with the mentioned dimension we need, which is 20 mm of two holes with mentioned positioning. Also, the diameter is provided with a tolerance of plus minus 0.1 mm. After applying tolerance, the size of the hole varies from 19.09 mm to 20.01 mm. Now, let's see at the first block of the feature control frame, also known as the feature control block, consists of the symbol called the position control symbol. The position is one of the most useful, and most complex of all the symbols in GD and T. The two methods of using position discussed on this page will be RFS, or regardless of feature size, and under a material condition. The position is always used with a feature of size. Here, in the feature block the defined tolerance for the positioning of the hole is plus minus, 0.3 millimeters. So, that way the position of the hole can vary from, 24.7 mm to 25.3 mm in the x direction, and 14.7 mm to 15.3 mm in the y direction. Here, M stands for the tolerance applied in the maximum material condition, or MMC. And all these features, tolerance, and dimension are given in the feature control frame with respect to the datums A, B, and C. Now, we will see a feature control frame for perpendicularity tolerance, which is an orientation control type tolerance. A perpendicularity tolerance can be defined as, how much a surface deviates from a right angle, with respect to a perfectly flat plane. The value of the perpendicularity control tolerance, is the distance between the parallel planes. Whilst machining, the surface that is being controlled, must be contained within the tolerance zone's defined volume. The volume between two parallel planes that are perpendicular to the datum plane is known as the perpendicularity tolerance zone, it is applied when controlling a surface. Now, let's see, how the placement of the feature control frame is done. It can either point at the surface, or, be connected to the extension line that extends from it, in order to apply a perpendicularity control. A perpendicularity tolerance is applied to the entire surface. The entire surface must be contained between two parallel 0.1 mm, apart planes. The planes are pointed at datum A at a 90 degrees angle. A datum feature symbol designates the datum feature that was used to establish the datum. As we can see here, it is used to define the range we can work with by, giving a tolerance of, 0.1 mm. So, the height of the part with respect to datum A and B will be, 99.9 mm to 100.1 mm. Same over here perpendicularity tolerance is used to define the length of the part. The length of the part with respect to datum B can vary from, 74.9 mm to 75.1 mm. Let's see what profile tolerance is. Any subset of these, including form, location, orientation, and size, can be controlled by a surface profile tolerance. Profiles can be used with or without basic dimensions and datum references. This symbol is known as all around, and this means that the tolerance applies to the surface profile all the way around the part outline. After that profile control tolerance is defined. And then tolerance zone value is given, which is, half a millimeter. On either side of the ideal curved surface are two parallel planes that make up the surface profile tolerance zone, aka the true profile. The distance between them sets the callout's tolerance limit, and both planes conform to the ideal surface's shape. A tighter control is provided by a lower tolerance limit, but it may be more challenging to manufacture. For a part to be accepted, all of the points on its surface must fall within the designated tolerance range. The surface profile can take the place of all form controls when used without a datum. The given profile tolerance is 0.5. So, the length of the part has a range to work from minus 0.25 mm to 0.25 mm. 
the length of the part can vary from 64.75 mm to 65.25 mm. That is all for this video, comment down below if you have any doubts. We will learn more in depth about GD&T in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, until then learn and grow.